Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we have got an interesting case for you to look at. We've got a cow with a sore right front foot. We gotta get to work on this and stay till the end and watch how she exits the chute. It's pretty cool to see. So what we're dealing with here is a classic white line lesion situation. What that is, is a perforation in the white line of the foot, which is the junction between the outside wall of the hoof and the sole, that's the white line. You get a perforation in there, and what happens is bacteria is able to uh, invade that crack and ultimately infect the corium underneath. The corium is the layer that produces this hard outer layer that the cow walks on. So when we get that inflammation, when we get that infection, we get a layer of separation here. So we're gonna have to remove all of that to open this up, clean that infection, and get this corium uh, back to a healthy state so that it can then start producing new horn again to replace this damaged horn. If this is your first hoof trimming video, cutting the hoof of the foot does not hurt. It's much like us cutting our fingernails. So what I'm doing here is just removing this, this detached outer layer of horn that has been released because of the infection underneath. When I do that, I'm able to open this area up completely and that underlying area, that soft uh, tender tissue underneath is the area that's been infected, but is also that area that's going to produce this hard outer covering. So as I cut this away, it may look like this is painful for the cow, but all it, all we're really doing here is removing the detached horn, the stuff that's no longer living and that's not um, valuable to that cow anymore. So what I'm gonna do now is, as I said, continue to remove this. And what we've got underneath here is a is some infection from digital dermatitis. That's a different type of bacteria that basically keeps this, these lesions formed from that infection, keeps them open. And unless we can get rid of that infection, we're not going to be able to, to get the sole to heal up properly. So that's gonna be part of my treatment process as well. Removed the detached horn from around this lesion, and then I need to treat the bacteria that have colonized on top of that lesion. Once I do that, that corium then will begin to produce new horn, and this entire area that I'm removing now will be replaced with nice, healthy horn again. Perfect for her, she can start to walk again once we get all of this taken care of. Now, if you're watching this and you're thinking to yourself, doesn't it seem counterproductive to remove a whole bunch of hoof just to get more hoof horn to grow? But the point of it is to get the infection to clear up underneath that. If we don't remove this outside layer, what ends up happening is we get a bunch of debris packed in up underneath that and it traps that infection and actually can cause uh, more severe infection if that happens and more separation to happen. So. We need to remove that to make this heal as fast as humanly possible. Now, can these things heal on their own? Sure, they just take much, much longer to heal because what ultimately has to happen is that entire area needs to, to basically um, loosen and come off on its own, shed away on its own. And by that time, we're talking months of, of discomfort that this cow's gotta go through in order for that to happen in a natural state. We don't wanna deal with that. So what we do is speed this process up by removing that loose horn. That's gonna allow that to heal so much faster. 
this rubber block I'm putting on right now, I'm gluing that on there so that she's able to walk on that instead of this injured claw. And that's gonna elevate that injured claw right off the ground. She won't even put any weight on it whatsoever. Now this, as far as the infection goes, I'm rinsing this, cleaning this off really well with chlorhexidine. It's a antiseptic. And what that's gonna do is, is get a good surface kill on any of this bacteria that's there. And then I'm gonna apply some salicylic acid powder on top of that. And that's gonna really do the work as far as killing the digital dermatitis bacteria that's causing this, this irritation, this lesion to stay open. That's that powder you're seeing right now. Once I get that applied, I'm gonna wrap this entire foot up and that's gonna sit and that powder's gonna sit there and do its job for a couple days. And then that wrap's gonna come off. The wrap is not to keep this entire area clean. It's simply to hold that powder in place. Now I get questions uh, often about whether or not, or why do I sometimes pour that powder on the right on the lesion? And sometimes I put it on those pads. The reason I do that is simply because of the angle of the foot. If I've got an angle here where it's somewhat flat, I can dump that powder right on that lesion and then put those pads over the top and wrap it up. If it's more vertical, then I'll put them on the pads and then apply that to the foot just to keep the powder where I want it to be. But we're gonna get this foot wrapped up, put it down, and then we're gonna let her go and watch her walk. This is the cool part. She's expecting when she puts that foot down to be discomfort. She takes a couple steps and then she realizes this foot no longer hurts. And that's the real pleasure for a hoof trimmer when they work on cows like this to get that satisfaction and that comfort back in that cow. So let's let her down and you'll get to see for yourself. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.